if you are to advise the protesters that are out there, what's the message? My you? message to the protesters is you have registered your grievances. You also have registered your grievances at home and outside Nigeria. You have been heard. Your grievances are outlined. What is left now is for either the elders of the country, along the electees in various assemblies, other arms of government, to come together in advisory count and advisory capacities to sit and work out solutions for the problems. Uh, primarily, why laws around the whole world, constitutions around the whole world, uphold the essence of giving an individual the right to bear his grievances or to protest? Protests are of all kinds. Violent protest, no, is unacceptable. But you are allowed by law to present, to air out your grievances as an individual or as groups or as tribes or the whole nation over. That has been registered. So let there be, uh, let there be a halt. The protest, younger ones should go home, think, and know that they have a country. And I am sure that the government will adjust. And I am sure. It is of concern not only to Nigeria. If Nigeria is a member of ECOWAS and AU, if Nigeria is a member of numerous other international bodies, they are all of concern because of their investments and interests in Nigeria. I'm sure they will approach the leadership and there will definitely be adjustment, that I know of. I mean, the response of security uh, agencies to this uh, protest, the response, federal government response, in short. Well, I found the response to be harsh. Remember, you have states, you have local governments, you have youth leaders, you have traditional rulers, you have elders, you have, you have legislatures representing every single zone, every single constituency. You also have state legislatures and you have leadership there. Every state, the government should be seen to give them task. There are roles the military ought not to play because today, what we are witnessing in Nigeria is a reaction by the younger ones or the poor majority who have no alternative other than to now show their grievances this way. It is unfortunate, but it is real because we have seen it to happen. Remember the statement of J.F. Kennedy when he said, where a leadership fails to maintain or to contain or to manage the poor majority, then at the end of the day, we will have the majority eating the rich. This was in the 60s. This is J.F. Kennedy. I'm talking from realism. And how old was America's democracy that we are copying today? And how old was it in the 60s, in 1960? So let's be sincere. Let's be realistic. Let's show concern and love to our country. Let whatever we are saying to be practical, to be honest, to be direct and simple, rather than cumbersome arrangements only for some people to utilize that in mismanaging Nigeria.